What is up, my vapesters? I'm your host, Michael Cobb, and today is the Visual Vapor Reviews. It's special Sunday, guys. Oh, strike that. Super Sundays. We're going to supersize it today, I guess. So it's about an hour or two before I have to go to work. Uh, I thought I might do a video or so um, because, well, might as well upload it while I'm on my break, right? Anyway, so today is Super Sunday. It's going to be talking about the new products that I'm, look, I'm going to be looking at over the next few months, talking about some of the next upload reviews, stuff like that. Who knows what I'll have. So I'm looking at some new RDA material products, stuff like that, new mods, new tanks, some new reviews to do. Sometime between now and next week, I'm supposed to have some credits in so I can do some video after the video reviews so that I can get some product for example the RDA product I'm looking at is the Vupu Squonk box which is basically an RDA mechanical mod that allows you to squonk the liquid in it's a small it's basically a box mod with a single 18650 and a bottle for holding liquid now what that does is it goes into a bottom feeding RDA tank and, or RDA, yeah, RDA tank in this case. You take and instead of dripping your liquid directly onto the coils, you push the button, the little squonk bo bottle, and it pushes liquid right up through to the top of the coil to saturate your wicks. But in this case, it also provides overfill protection. So when you release it, the negative pressure from the liquid and from the air in the liquid is pulling the juice back into the bottle itself, allowing you to essentially wick your coils without having to worry about overfillage or dripping everywhere. It's really cool. Really looking forward to it. It's supposed to be really nice. And then of course, the other day, I finished my dagger. I had this old sword plank and I carved it with my Dremel into this beautiful dagger. It's from Once Upon a Time. Um, basi basically, it's from Once Upon a Time, Rumpelstiltskin's Dagger. The reason I did it out of an old sword plank is because if any of you guys know Rumpelstiltskin's Dagger is actually part of Excalibur. Now, Excalibur had this really wavy upper part of its blade, and I thought, what better way to follow the storyline than to carve my blade from an original sword blade. And then I also, I don't know how well you can see the carving in there very well, but that carving is my the carving of my name to make it seem more like the Dark One's dagger. But instead of having a rumple stiltskin on it, Michael Cobb. Why not? It showed it was possible from having other daggers, so I thought it was really cool. In any case, so basically, right now I'm vaping on my raspberry mango strawberry because I took the Zaba strawberry and put it with the millionaire from Mang the millionaire or mango mango raspberry to create raspberry blah, 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 raspberry mango strawberry definitely good flavor I really like it vaping on my eye joy diamond with the matching captain tank amazing mod amazing tank fresh coils in there today but um yeah, amazing mod itself. I got it from, <coughs> got it from SS Vape. Um, it works really well. This thing has been serving me pretty well for a while. A little bit of leakage there. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a mod like this. Sometimes it'll leak. iJoy Diamond basically is the this is the PD twenty seven hundred kit. That means it will have it has its <coughs> the batteries included with it instead of a tank. That's why it's still considered a kit. It's just missing a tank. That's why I had my iJoy Diamond pre-ordered beforehand. Then the clouds are cloudalicious for days. But of course, what what video wouldn't be complete with a little without a little blast from the past from my iQ i200? I've been loving on this. I'm gonna fill up my iJoy with that wonderful mango raspberry strawberry. It's almost like vapes to juice from uh, from Chris almost from indoor smokers. Yeah, baby. 
Hold on a second, let me pause this. Sorry about that. Quick um, quick pro quo from my fiance. She just had a question for me. But yeah, so nothing like a blast from the past with my IQ and I200 amazing flavor from this, um, the mango straw uh, mango rasp strawberry. Even got a little bit left over of the menthol flavor that I got from the Polar Breeze, which is this beauty right here. Amazing flavor, absolutely love it. Gives it that li nice, light, tropical menthol flavor, along with your mango raz strawberry. Gives it a um, nice, relaxing flavor. And as always, in these flavors, no nick, there you can, but they are available in zeros, threes, sixes, and twelves. They are customizable depending on where you get them. Um, I get mine from SS Vape because I'm the reviewer for them. So I definitely, definitely think you guys should pick yours up there because they do amazing profiles and, and prices on liquids. So anyway, back to talking about what I'm going to be picking up later on. Um, so RDA wise was the Squonk mod. Then a tank probably would be the Voopoo Demon. I ordered that a while ago as an RDA. Let's see, some other things I'm looking for probably would be the UL Crown 3, um, the Voopoo U Force tank, and the Fire and the Sense Blazer tank sub ohm, along with the one I'm going to be picking up relatively soon, which is the Minion from Victory. I've been hearing about this for a while. They te kept te telling me that they were going to have a new tank coming out and I didn't know when it was going to show on the website so me being silly decided to waste all my credits what right away on on what I thought I needed which was liquid but instead which does get me review creds of course but you kind of want to stay up to date instead of just looking at liquids all the time you do want to be able to pick up some relatively new product like for, like their vape mods and whatnot but eh, either way, so the Victory Mini, I mean Victory Minion, will be coming in hopefully soon. I'll be ordering that. And then of course we've got two flavors on their way: Flipso Calypso for my fiance Ariana, and of course the Zaba Vanilla. I can't wait to be trying that flavor out, guys. It seems like it's going to be pretty worth, pretty worth it. I think. I just put the um, Django from SS Vape in there which in by 13th floor in my iDroid Diamond, so it's mixing in kind of well with that Raz Strawberry, uh, Mango Raz Strawberry. <coughs> A little strong, but definitely good flavor. So yeah, p um, pick up your flavors at SS Vape. They do great choices on um, liquids. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And when I hit a, mi uh, a thousand, co <coughs> thousand subscribers, I'll be hoping um, to do some pretty good um, monetary uh, monetin heh, monetization on um, on these vids so that I can help you guys see more products from vaporizers. Because once this kicks off more, you guys will be able to see more products. I'll have a lot more um, spending cash to help you guys see more reviews and also be able to pay for a lot more things. So definitely like and subscribe to the Visual Vapor Reviewer because I'm your humble host for this channel and I'll be doing more reviews on Vapor Mods as the weeks and months roll by. You guys will be um, part and partial to my vlog for or vlog for the our trip to Virginia. I'll be doing videos all along the way. Certain days I'll be bringing my schedule with me so you guys can see video reviews all the time and when the summer comes around you guys will be seeing um, joining me by the pool at the hotel so you guys can see and um, see me vaping all over all the way around because whether or not you guys expect it I'm gonna be doing it uh, me and my fiance will be doing vlogs on my other channel which will be Michael Cobb's visual vapor reviews that's a separate channel and it is now kind of a back mm, back blah, blah. it's kind of piggybacking on this channel right now I've pretty much stopped all activity on that channel and pretty much gone for this channel for my vapor reviews because this is the official visual vapor reviews channel guys I've been waiting to make, create this channel for a while and I just didn't have another way to do it for a bit 
If you guys have any comments or questions about certain mods, be sure to check it out. Um, be sure to comment and um, see what you guys want to see about it. Ask me whatever you need. I'll be glad to um, clear things up. I have a lot of answers to a lot of questions about vaporizers, e-cigs, and mods. And if you're trying to quit them icky sticks, good beginner mods, start at maybe 18 to 20 bucks, and then you just pay another $15 or less for juice. So it's pretty simple. And after you quit ciggy butts, you get to blow clouds with the big dogs. <laughs> Anyway, I'm so thankful for you guys checking out my channel. I'm really thankful for you guys being there for me while I'm doing this. It's really helpful to me. I've been helping people quit cigarettes and um, doing reviews like this for quite a while, ever since the visual vapor review started um, under Artemis Fowl's vape reviews. That was the beginning of the channel, and things have really taken off since then, ever since I came up with the name Visual Vapor Reviews. It's been really, really insightful for me. And in a way, this stuff has helped me stay away from cigarettes. I quit smoke. I started. Some, I started. A, um, I started with when I before I vape. I had thought I was going to get into cigarettes and whatnot because I knew that's the biggest struggle of most teens these days. But it turns out I found something better and a way to help people quit cigarettes. It's really, really insightful and helpful. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to message me here on YouTube. You guys can also find me on my Facebook channel under Michael Cobb. It'll be a picture of me with my lovely fiance and some hearts around the frame, I think. Don't know. But, um, and then you can also message me on email at masterfowl993 at gmail.com. So yeah, be sure to tune in on, on most of the days except, let's see, Wednesdays. So Wednesdays are pretty much the only days I don't really upload. I do try to upload as many times as possible. I missed yesterday because I was really busy. I had work and whatnot. I'll be going into work soon myself, as I was saying before. So let's see, we got Super Sunday, Topic Tuesday, Throwdown Thursday, Spontaneous Saturday. So nothing, and Reviewer Friday, I did skip that again because it's not on the schedule, I missed it. But um, yeah, there are any days that I don't have reviews on Friday is if the products don't come in. If my products haven't come in yet, there is no Reviewer Friday. So that basically gets skipped until I get a review. So yeah, thanks so much guys for checking this out. Thanks for helping me out with this kind of stuff. Thanks for the views. Be sure to quit them icky sticks and get to the best kind of cloudage you can get without them burnt flavors of ciggy butts. Because we be smelling it, but you ain't be seeing it. We see it, but we smell it, but we don't. See, the smell is so much better than cigarettes. We, get, we enjoy the flavor so much more than, and every vapor you find is usually a ton friendlier than cigarette smokers. If you find a smoker, their first, the first smell you get off them, if they're a heavy smoker, is nothing but cigarettes. It stinks. Don't, no offense to, act, to smokers out there, but it does not smell good. You come across a vapor who's vaping on, say, I don't know, a raspberry or strawberry or whatever flavor, it actually smells good. There's no burnt smell, there's no ash covering, there's no disposability, there's no trash littering the streets. In fact, if this had nicotine in it, this would be the equivalent of, depending on its strength, about a month's worth of cigarettes, depending on your vape usage. Instead, these things don't build up. They don't have, mine don't have nicotine, I don't have to worry about that, but at the same time, there's no trash of cigarettes left in a huge pile. There's no pack disposal, there's no whatever. It's really good for the environment. It helps people stop smoking in a safe way, and get, they get to enjoy the flavor at the same time. all while creating such big and beautiful clouds. Anyway guys, so thanks for checking out the Visual Vapor Reviews. I'm your host Michael, and we'll be doing ne the next review for uh, the next day, a topic Tuesdays. Don't know what topic we'll be talking about, but we'll get to it when, it when we cross that bridge when we come to it. So as I was saying, I'm Michael Cobb, and these are the Visual Vapor Reviews. Peace guys. <laughs>